grasshopper kebabs that I believe are, are cooked. Are kebabs? Kebabs. All right, kebabs. You're the, the most beautiful girl that I've ever seen with a kebab. So we've got, um, this is our first attempt here at uh, grasshopper kebabs. They have, uh, they've been sort of marinated for a little bit in some olive oil, lime, and um, uh, some chili. So they may taste okay, they may taste really weird. Okay. Who knows, this smells nice, but it's mostly because of the pepper and the uh, onion. So, um, and in the background we have uh, I'm going to say Paw Patrol reflexively, but dinosaur train. Dr. Dr. Scott, Scott paleontologist. Seems like he just is there to mess shit up. So, uh, have at her. Alright, which one of these is mine? Doesn't really matter. Well, the one with the, the, with the heads sort of off, or, or is theoretically yours. Cause which you, is that one? Yeah, it, you can try to like skewer them through the butt thorax, uh, but then that didn't work. In some cases, I almost knocked the thorax off. And then I had to go up through the rib cage, which is probably good for them that they're dead. All right. Well, I mean, aside from the general barbecuing effect, actually. Uh, nobody wants to see me eat a red pepper. No, that's the part you know that's going to be okay. Yeah, it is. Sorry, little guy. So. I have to admit, I feel a little weird about this. Yeah, me too. They're big enough. They're big guys. They are. Um, I don't really want their wings. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm weird about this. I I hope they're cooked. They look cooked. They're a bit squishy. I don't know if they're cooked. I'll try one of the other ones. Some of them are a lot darker. It was okay. just the meat tastes okay, actually. Yeah. I'm a little weird about the fact that I just bit its butt in half, but <gasps> be careful, baby. Mm, no, we're better. They're, um... I don't want to say everything tastes like chicken, but it actually tastes a little bit like chicken. I think I like crickets better. Hmm. Like, this is more of a null flavor, you know? We're still at the point, generally speaking, where we're cooking something and not eating all of it. We're not like... Here's a hamburger we're gonna eat. Like, we're still like, mm, it's okay, and then you gotta prepare the kind of larger chunk of it. Hmm. And that one's overly cooked. And cooks like, or tastes like, um, because it's burnt, tastes like burnt ants from my childhood smells. That's not good. <laughs> ah, that's gross. Okay, hold on. I'll try the bum end. The bum end has the most. Head. Oh, that was? But it was probably one of the ones that was uh, hanging on one. Ah. Uh. Try to find one that doesn't feel quite so squishy. Maybe that one. I don't like it better. Mmm. I want to between my teeth somehow. Um. That actually tastes exactly like they smell. That one? Mm. So far, underwhelming. That actually just tasted like, um, like, uh, like a gerbil feed for me. You know, you open the package and it smelled, and it smelled like hamster feed, like that kind of. Well, they did smell like Vega. Okay. And our son is fun. singing Dinosaur Train in the background. Um, um, our next test for the excessively. Um, am I even in the shop? Or you like? Yeah. Did you uh, did you find it taste like it has the shrimpy texture too? No. I didn't find that my first one, just my second one, so maybe I did get like the one well cooked one in there. Yeah. Ew, that's like a strange thing. This is so. I mean. So this is attempt number two at Chapeline's. Uh, the first attempt involved too much heat and tasting very burny. Brian deep fried them basically to cinder. Uh, grasshopper. The eyes still freak me out the most. But these are actually really good. 